Felice Naughty Dog. Felice Naughty Dog. I've got that song stuck in my head. Come on, get up here. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, there's the beast. 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 Ah! Um, it's day two of Vlogmas. I just gave Roland his advent calendar treat. Um, and I just gave him another treat. A half a treat. I give half treats. Um, this, I have to say that this, I like this a lot better than the one I got a couple years ago. Because this one so far, he's had, um, two different, he's had two different types of treats. They're better packaged, I think, than the the year I got it before these little plastics. They had individual, they were individually plastic, little individual plastic, like candy wrappers, and they slid all over the place. So by the end, like, I was, I don't know what day I was working on by the time I got down here. Um, I think this one's a lot better. Um, I didn't realize it had a, it was detachable, but so I may take that off and put it somewhere, but I, I am I am really enjoying this. I think it's so far it's been it's been worth the eight bucks that I've spent on it. Roland's enjoying the treats. Of course, he's a corgi and he's food motivated, so he always enjoys a good treat. So um, so it's Saturday. There's the treat. It's Saturday, December second. So day two of Vlogmas. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the um, vignette thing over here. I don't know if that's going to be my video for today or not. Um, I need to go find a table runner. So I think I'm going to probably end up going to the Dollar Tree to look for something. And I also need to do Roland's Christmas card, which is, we always do a Christmas card every year. We're in a couple of Christmas card exchanges online for, um, people who own corgis and one of them's um the three corgis put on and then there's another one I can't remember the name of it. I think his name is Buster or something he he does one and then um there's one for uh it's the longest one that I've been in part of and it's on Facebook and it's I think it's called like the long running corgi card exchange some of them allow um other pets like if you have dogs that are not corgis and if you have cats and squirrels and squirrels it has a pet squirrel <laughs> i met gerbils or something like that um so i need to shoot his card today or tomorrow and get it set up so i may that may be one of our things we do today um i'm not sure what we're gonna do today for vlogmas um i also have this Pardon me. I have this. I'm working on this. It's called the um, Hexagon Cardigan. Granny Square Cardigan. I've been working on this for a couple, about a week. I think I started in Thanksgiving. And I try to get some of it done a little bit every night. And it's granny squares. If you're a crocheter, you know what that is. But it's it's also a hexagon. And then when you, when you get it to the size you need it to be... Um, it folds right up so this would be one half and then you'll make another one um, for the other half so this is for I don't know a build a bear or something it's for a tiny tiny person All right now um, th this is the yarn I'm using it's a cake yarn um, I've got another one in case this isn't enough because I'm a big girl so I need a bigger size but I've been working on that. It goes by quickly. It's just basically doing the granny square type. The three, you do um, three double crochets and then you move on to three clusters. You do the little, the clusters that granny squares are known for. And then this is a striated yarn. So it's supposed to be self striping. Um, so I'm curious to see how that work comes out. I'd like to get a few rows of that done today. I tried to do a little bit in the evening, but last night I didn't. Um, 
so I've got that. I've also got a plushie that I've never done crochet plushies and and I'm a gory. Uh, I found a corgi that I really want to do and then um, there's a couple other little plushy critters I want to make for to give away for Christmas presents. Um, so I need to get a cup. I've got some chenille yarn I bought for the corgi but I need to buy some for the other little critters that I'm going to make. Um, so I may end up going to Hobby Lobby because I do need to get um, a donut hole, donut maker. Excuse me, I found out how to make air fried donuts on um, webs, uh, video, excuse me, a video yesterday. And um, I wanna try the keto, there's a keto flour that um, I make, I've made, or I'm going to make, and I wanna see if I can make the donuts with that. I um, also need to make some donuts for my friend, Michael. I told him I'd make him some regular donuts. I want to make him a, a batch of regulars, me a batch of that, and see how they compare. Um, but that's about all I have planned for today, Saturday. So I don't know if it'll be just a shopping kind of thing or if it'll be making Roland's Christmas card. But we'll see how the rest of the vlog, vlog falls out. So catch you in a bit. What are you going to do, Arlene? <laughs> Put the songs stuck in my head. When I do these YouTube shorts, then I get the songs stuck in my head. <laughs> anyway, I just finished doing Roland's uh, photo for Roland for his Christmas card. I'm going to try something new this year. Um, I'm going to use the Adobe, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's Adobe's AI where you can take the background out and put in any kind of background that you want. I'm going to try that. I think I surprisingly really quick did um a basic photo of Roland really cute so I'm gonna dress it up with some um with that and then I may take it into Photoshop and do so I put a hat or something on him and I'm gonna see what this thing does I'm really excited about that if not I'll just take the photo and put it into Canva and make something in Canva like I did last year um, so that's it. Right now, I'm off to Aldi, the Dollar Tree, probably Hobby Lobby, maybe Michael's, and um, that's it. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, Dollar Tree was insane people everywhere in there um so I didn't end up when I first went in I could not get into the Christmas stuff because there were just scads of people around I walked around the store a little bit and good thing that I did I ended up finding this over in the uh like cleaning supplies I think it's supposed to be uh it's a floor mat it's a very thin floor mat but it's about the size I need and um this was the best one of the bunch the, the all the other ones had like monograms and I'm not big on um, monograms for my last name because I hate my last name <laughs> just putting that out there um there's a whole big story about that so anyway so I just got the one that said most wonderful time of the year I also needed a tree skirt and I bought their this is a Dollar Tree Plus so I bought the Dollar Tree Plus and I thought this pretty blue but this is pretty so I got that and um while I was looking around the craft stuff for fabric thinking I might add fabric to that I found this pom-pom maker I had one of these a smaller one and a larger one um I had one that I got at, I think I bought it at Joann's or something um this was a dollar 25 let's see how this works um because I've got um, some stuff I want to do with making pom-poms. So that was my Dollar Tree haul. Because of my good fortune of not getting, um, getting what I needed, I probably will not go to, well, I need to go to Hobby Lobby for something specific. 
I don't know if I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby right now. Um, it is, I don't know what time it is because I didn't have my watch with me. So, I know it's around one something. Um, I do need, I have to go to Aldi though. But I need Aldi to be the last stop because I've got to get um, frozen stuff. Mm, decisions, decisions. But thankfully, I don't, I did um, score it out on the first store I went to. Yay. So here's the tree skirt from the Dollar Tree. Um, let's see. I mean, I don't need a huge one, so that's it's not terrible if it's small because sometimes the Dollar Tree stuff can be small. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad size. Looks like it's got Velcro to fix it up here. This is probably. Um, I should have put it on first, and now I'm going to have a helper here. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it for my helper. Alright, you're going to have to go get this. It's very glittery, pretty. I don't mind the boxes over here. These are my outdoor or my outdoor inflatables. <sighs> and Beast is back. My outdoor inflatables, which I'll show a picture of what they look like as well. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for day two and work on His Majesty's. A greeting card for tomorrow. Um, I already got it pretty much planned out what I want it to look like and hopefully the um, the Adobe Firefly, I remember the name of it, will help me um, get it fixed up the way I want it and then if that doesn't do exactly how I want it then I'll take it over into excuse me over into Canva and um, may work on it a little bit in that. So uh, that kind of, I think that's going to put a wrap, put a bow <laughs> on day two. And um, I'm glad you joined me. Thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. What do you think of the tree, Rolly? Hmm? What? What? Poof. Poof to you too.